gets no money at the end of the round, and then the whole and when the round, you know, the whole point is you kind of want to die, make the money for the next round so you can buy a rifle. Living would be a bit of a problem, and he's got a full buy coming into this one. Edward should have had decent enough economy to go for the buy, although he has to skimp on the Kevlar, so that's not going to help. But he gets the nades, and Guardian, most importantly, has that AWP. Last time around, Force was able to win the duel versus Guardian in mid, and so I'll see, let's see if they can actually pull it off again, because once again, Guardian heading into mid, looking to get that early mid control set up here for Na'Vi. Forrest is on the other side, and actually looked like he wanted to take that fight a little bit. Now it's Edward instead, and the smoke's going to go up. Probably going to be a couple of flash bangs to follow up here, but not flashed Forrest, and he catches Guardian. Wow, what a pick early on. Seized wants to walk into it here. The Molotov, it's going to fail just a little bit here. Killing spree. Seized trying to make his way out. Forrest still holding Double that very kill. close angle, and this Triple is scary, kill. and Seized just finding the perfect timing. Flashed in by a teammate as well. He's going to bring it back into a four-on-four. -four. And NIP, they, they really do like fighting, even when they have the advantage. I mean, oh, with this flash, perfectly done. Freiburg, for what? The free kill, and Seized hits the headshot. <laughs> no. I don't even know. That was such a great setup as well. It was well. perfect. Existing get Rider still on this A-bomb side, and Flamey's trying to walk in. That's a nice Good knockout shot. blow. This is going to be taking out Flamey. Seuss wants to see if he can follow up on it, and he will be able to do just that and get right here. Spots one guy falling back here, but now it's only 40 seconds left. He's trapped in Sandwich, and he's going to go down. Seuss. Gonna be able to get the kill threat. I mean, if Get Right has still been alive, then this position from threat, this follow up would have been epic. But now it's a one on three here for the coach turned player. And this is a critical round. He's gonna be able to stop Seuss from putting the bomb down. That's a fantastic Dominated. start. 20 seconds now left. He goes back for a bit of a flash, but now they got the bomb. They compounded in safety. So he's gonna have to go for the full fight and the defuse. There's no doubt about it. Navi, they should have a clear advantage right now. Threat. Could he really do this? He's looking for the first shot here. Seized so is low on health, but Edward is on the other side. Gonna be one flash to go up. They're gonna double up on it. There's the one kill. Seized now inside the bomb site. Threat trying to jump up. Oh no! I think that was a reload right as Seized shows himself. And that will make it another round for Navi. Here's a nice attempt from Threat. Definitely uh, not on him that that round went uh, south, but 8 5. And the 14th round is coming up here, and Navi. I feel like Nip keep doing this to us where they show us a couple of rounds where we think, all right, you know, some good, some good counter strike here. And then now nah, we just come back into it. Yeah, then it comes down to the individual performance. And the point that was made on the analyst desk going into this is just that across the board, Navi, they have better aimers right now, better players in the clutch. We're just not seeing that from NIP when it counts most. Sees though, he's gonna flash his way, he gets blocked a little bit, he realizes, wait a second, that took just a little bit too long to get through that smoke. Freiburg not gonna get the kill in the end. So close, and Edward, no fear from him, charges forward, takes out Forrest, and now the A site is under Navi control, although get right, he does try to have an impact, he does try to make the difference. It's not going to be good enough, and that leaves Exist in a 1v4. Gets the spray, but gives away his position going for it, and Flamey will find the headshot through the smoke. Huge lead now for Navi. And we're going into the 15th round, the last round of this first half, and NIP are broke. They have nothing to, do, to work with here. Well, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, Sun, because they've won two out of three rounds doing Fair this, enough. so, you know, it might, might actually be better for them at this point just to go with pistol armor, why not? They got, uh, they got a couple of smokes and, you know, a little bit to work with here, but statistically, this isn't half bad for an IP right now. Let's see, I mean, a little bit of an attempt to stack, no, it's straight up normal play coming out here from NIP. Once again, threat going on for short, so we'll see if Guardian finds him later on in this and Forest. Want to have that presence in mid. Exist is the one playing close to close to the time around for NIP. So they're changing up their positions here. NIP showing a bit of versatility. But they're just waiting. And Navi, same thing. Still a little bit split up, Navi. But Guardian hits the shot on threat, and that's going to start them off strong. Not exactly how the other pistol rounds or the other eco rounds went. Let's see if it's going to make a difference here. Oh, Molotov up, and also smoking. The CT side of connector, so that's going to give some space for Seas to work with here. And Forrest, you can tell, he's up there in the window. He really wants to go and take the peek, but it's not so easy. Exist, 
flashed through, but Seas just wasn't flashed, so that made no difference at all. Seuss going to be getting the kill on Get Right, and obviously, this is falling apart here. Now, be cruising towards a 10 5 first half. They've been playing very, very well in this quarterfinals already, and it doesn't seem to end anytime soon. It's going to be Flaming with the last kill as a team ace to close out this first half of the second map. And now, be well in route to a semi finals. But you, you have to appreciate it, right, Anders? A little bit of a nod there from Exist, you know, to the home crowd. MLG went for the 360 spin before trying to get the big. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. It's a good attempt. Why not? I mean, when you're this far behind, I, I don't know. I don't know what kind of talk NIP could, could have internally in the break here to try and, and sort of change this around. Again, it's frustrating because they did have, there was sort of a, in the middle of the match where the, where the sort of distribution was like five rounds for Nip and two for Navi. You know, if, if they can get into that sort of rhythm early on, right? If they can, if that's if the match starts with a 5-2 in favor of Nip, then yeah, it may, maybe it'd be something interesting. But this game starts with Navi taking five rounds in a row, and then Nip winning one round and gets reset. You already then you don't really need to know anything else. When when that happens, you know it, it's going to take just more than a miracle to get back in the game. That's how cutthroat Mirage can be because it's still We're a very CT-sided so map. Much more so. I mean, right now this 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 scoreline is not indicative. You know, it's not usually what we see here. But this no. is what can happen if you actually mess up that first big buy round. You lose the pistol. You lose the first buy round. You're so far behind at that point. It's just an uphill struggle the entire way through. I would put it this way: that if the scores had been reversed and Nip had got ten rounds and Navi had got five, I would still say Navi win this map. I think they're just that good on the CT side. They needed 11-4 really. Yes, happy. I think it has, to, it has to be sort of eleven four scoreline. Right. Now that's the thing is though, Mirage it is a map that you can come up with some really you know interesting strats. Threat. He showed us what he was capable of yesterday on Cobblestone, coming up with, you know, an innovative smoke strat that allowed for NIPs to take a map off of Mouse in really just clear-cut fashion. I mean, we just have to see if they're going to be able to come up with anything that can surprise Navi on this map. That, it's all on NIP now to just land this first pistol because if they can control the pace, if they can set it up so that they just run into Navi, try and rock that confidence at the beginning of the second half, Nip can still, you know, have a chance. It's just going to come down to this pistol, and so far NIP have struggled somewhat with these pistol rounds, so let's see if they can turn it around here when it's all on the line. Navi, 10 rounds on the CT side to start them off. NIP, are they going to go? They do not choose to go for the raid boss build. They don't give the Tech 9 over to get right. Instead, it's Exist going for the smoke and flash along with the P250. So, single smoke picked up for NIP. We have to see where they want to use it. And, um Joel really does to sell that say that this is going to be a, you know a sort of a must-win round here. NIP's tournament life might very well hang in the balance of this one round, and um, a little bit.